Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today's Monday, March 25th, 2024. Today I'm talking about human metanumavirus or HMPV. So what is that? Well, it's a common virus that usually causes symptoms similar to the common cold. It's been isolated on every continent and from people of all ages. So what is it? It's a single-stranded a messenger is a single stranded RNA virus that was isolated in 2001. It belongs to the family of viruses that cause RSV, measles, and mumps. Now, infections with HMPV are high right now across the United States, especially in younger children under five and in older adults. So, how is it diagnosed? It's diagnosed with a PCR test, but Many doctors and facilities don't test for it unless it's part of a panel of respiratory virus tests. So the incubation period can be from three to six days. The symptoms commonly associated with HMPV include cough, fever, nasal congestion, and shortness of breath. Now, transmission is most common uh, through from an infected person uh, when they sneeze or cough and they spread their secretions. Also, you can get it through close personal contact from kissing or touching or shaking hands with somebody that's infected and then inoculating the virus into your uh, nose or your mouth or your eyes. Now, how long does it take to recover from human metanumavirus? Well, most people, again, just have cold symptoms and recover within seven to 10 days. But people who have weakened immune systems, who have chronic respiratory conditions, such as asthma or COPD, they're more likely to develop a serious complications such as bronchitis or pneumonia. Now this virus is seasonal and we are in the season of this virus, late winter, early spring uh, in temperate climates, which if you live in the United States, that's what season we're in. Now, currently, there is no specific treatment for this. There aren't any antiviral therapies. And folks, there is not a vaccine to prevent HMPV. Medical care is primarily supportive. Now, unfortunately, you can get the infection repeatedly. So to help stop the spread of HMPV and other respiratory viruses, you know what to do, folks. You've got to wash those hands frequently with soap and water. Avoid touching your uh, eyes, your nose, or your mouth with unwashed hands. If someone's sick and coughing and sneezing, you don't want to kiss them or be close up. And, you know, wear a mask uh, if you're visiting or working in high-risk places. And, you know, if you have children at home, uh, you want to make sure you wash those shared toys and again high touch surfaces you want to clean them with soap and water that's my message today i hope it's been helpful do take care and stay well